hey, glad you're here. If you're going to teach or you are teaching high school chem, here's just some ideas that I have that relate to the matter unit. They're cheap, they're easy, there are things that you can then use for the rest of your career. We want to keep that content interesting for the students. So demonstrations, activities, labs is the way to go. The best demos. Little or no setup, you want to get the students engaged, and then you can follow up with questions, be it a quiz, a test, on a lab. You got it. You might want to try it one way one year, a different way another year. A couple of suggestions. Don't be afraid to keep things simple. I think we always think that we have to really wow the students. Sometimes the simplest things get them thinking. And of course, take some of the demonstrations. Don't have all the fun yourself. Have the students do them too. All right, so under matter, substances and mixtures. Uh, this is an activity that I've done with the students. Um, I was very fortunate enough that um, I worked with a great group of chem teachers from around the area. And one of them, when they retired, passed along this activity to me. What you need is some plastic Petri dishes. Hopefully, you can get those from the bio department. And some nuts, bolts, and washers that will fit in those Petri dishes. And all you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and do a setup where you take, I'd say, about 12 of these dishes. You're going to put nuts, bolts, washers sometimes together meaning a compound, sometimes individual, meaning elements, and go ahead and, and put them in, glue them together, and now you're going to have this for the rest of your career. You would set it up around the room, have the students take a sheet of paper, write the letters A through H or whatever, however many you have, and on the other side then describe the contents of the Petri dish. So for example, for letter I here, I have a mixture of two different elements, the bolts representing one, and the nuts representing another. Here in letter F, we have two different elements and a compound, so this again is a mixture. Here for letter D, it's only going to be the bolts, which represents an element. It's kind of like doing those particle diagrams, but again using the nuts, the bolts, and the washers. And the beautiful thing about this, you throw them back in the bag, you throw them back in your matter box, and you have them every year. Physical chemical changes and properties. Here's some demonstrations or, again, things that the students can do that will reinforce exactly what these concepts are. These little dinosaurs, you might have seen these in the store. These are capsules. You go ahead, you put them in water, and the gel dissolves and appears uh, a sponge animal. I use this as a bonus question on a test. And I showed the students not just the front, but the back where um, it said that they were dissolving. And I asked them whether or not this was a physical or a chemical change. You could do it that way. You could do it as part of a whole thing of demonstrations entirely up to you. You buy a pack, you're going to have them for several years. Another thing to check out, I got the dinosaur theme growing here. Okay, these super growing dinosaurs. This is made of a polymer. You put it in water and it absorbs water and it, and it expands. You could do one for the class and have them check it from time to time. You could do it as a lab, give each pair of students their own. And what I done is uh, a lab where here it's saying it grows to 600% its size. So have the students take, you know, maybe the length or the width or both, maybe even mass. And then over several lab periods, bring them back out have them take them out of the water, pat them dry, do the measurements, put them back, and then they can do graphs. They can prove or disprove this whole idea of 600%. You can buy a whole big thing of them either on Amazon. Oriental Trading is another great um, company that sells a lot of supplies in bulk. I'll put in the description below where the, you can find these things in the links. If you click on it and you buy it, it sends me a couple of pennies and it doesn't cost you anything and they might be things that you want and you keep in your matter box for your career. The next one here is the wave bottle. You're going to get a lot of use out of this all year. Literally oil and water. Now this one has some vegetable oil here. The water, I know it's a greenish color. I put food coloring in it. It's really cool 
to do an oil and water uh, either demonstration or have the students do it where they set up the oil and water and then they go ahead and put a couple of food coloring drops on the top of the oil it passes through the oil and then when it hits the water it starts to expand because of course it's water soluble and it is not nonpolar like the oil another thing that's really cool is you can take some salt put some salt at the top of the oil it'll go again pass through the oil and then it will dissolve in the water for here since we're talking physical and chemical change you know you could have one of the students or you could shake it up and of course upon standing it's going to go back to separating again which is definitely physical and not chemical here i just wanted to show you these are the the happy sad balls let me see if this thing will work literally they're going to look exactly the same they're mo both made of a, a plastic uh, not a plastic or a black rubber and one bounces and one does not so i like to use this with the students uh, again because they think everything is just based on color oh they're the same color they might have they have to be the same substance and as soon as you take them and you drop them on the table again one does not bounce at all and the other one does so it's a quick easy demonstration if you buy them or you get them ordered through school you have them forever up here this is a homemade demonstration thanks to my friend James this is what we call the magic bag if I hit play here just a paper bag and it has a false bottom and it has a little a little saying on it magic bag magic bag all the coins you know all the foreign coin let the American go but you don't even have to put that on there but the whole point is you put a coin an American coin and a Canadian coin in and the American comes out and the Canadian does not and of course there is a magnet in the bottom so you can do it as a quote unquote trick you could ask the students why you could show them the coins put it in and be able to predict you know that you're pulling out one or the other each time and how do you know that when you can't see it and of course there's a magnet in the bottom and that's because the Canadian coin has a element as part of that coin which is magnetic so these are all physical properties let's go to chemical all right so I'm showing you two here let me show you this this is just a prop I love this prop all it is it's called one big match and of course yes anytime I burn something you have a chemical change this one big match is great I use it all year as a prop it's always in the front of my desk but simple you could of course have the students light a candle out observe a candle light a match of course anything that's combusting we know is a chemical change this is another one I like to do I've done this as a demo I've done this also as an activity for the students and then as a uh, lab as well and this is the single re replacement reaction aluminum foil and copper 2 chloride now the copper 2 chloride is a pretty green color you dissolve that in water and it turns this blue color pretty blue now that's the first thing dissolving is physical so it's to re-emphasize it's a physical not a chemical change when I'm dissolving then I take a piece of aluminum foil and I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my copper 2 chloride uh, solution and right away when the copper 2 uh, chloride solution hits the aluminum foil we get that single replacement reaction it is exothermic you can put a thermometer in there have them feel the outside of the graduated cylinder it gets hot so it's exothermic and you'll see that this copper colored solid that's forming is copper and the copper ions in the solution which are, are blue are now coming out and it's a little hard to see in my picture but you can see where the aluminum foil stops this top solution now is going to be clear because it's the aluminum ions in solution and not the copper ions and down here it's remaining blue great demonstration or you could use it as a lab all of these things you can set them up have them in your box and every year when you you're talking about matter or matter and energy you can bring them out for the students we want things that are easy to set up they're not crazy crazy exciting but they do get the point across i hope you enjoyed watching the video more to come please subscribe if you have any ideas or comments just leave them below and have a wonderful day